From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles. Jason has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a bit. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. First, let's update you about a deadly crash on I-275. Troopers tell us an 84-year-old woman died Saturday night after getting hit by an SUV. Just after 8.30, troopers say that SUV was heading south on I-275 near the Fowler Avenue exit when for some reason the elderly woman ran across the highway. She died at the scene of the crash. Southbound traffic had to be rerouted onto Fowler for hours after that accident. If you have yet to file your 2020 taxes, Monday is the last day. The IRS gave us an extra month to file. And just a heads up, it may take you longer to get your refund. The IRS is processing an unusually large backlog of returns from this year and 2019. And in case you missed it, May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and all month long we're taking action to keep you and your family safe. Health experts say we need to keep the sunscreen close by. Dr. Susan Masick says when it comes to sunblock, choosing one with the high SPF is best, but after SPF 50, they're all about the same. And don't be stingy with it. Most people don't use enough sunscreen to protect them. You'll want to use one to two ounces to cover your entire body. And some of us may not be reapplying as often as we should. You want to go ahead and apply about 20 minutes before you head outdoors. You want to reapply every two to three hours. And make sure you don't miss a spot. We most often forget about the back of our necks, the top of our ears, and our hands and feet. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. Lots of sunshine here on your Monday. It's going to be a comfortable start, too, with temperatures that are back into the upper 50s and lower 60s for our inland spots and areas north of I-4. Closer to the coast, you'll be into the mid and upper 60s. Low humidity, though, one more day until we start to see it, unfortunately, making a return. So it will be warm, it will be breezy, but thankfully it won't be uncomfortable with those heat index values up to 100. The heat index will be close to what the actual temperatures are, which are into the mid 80s inland, upper 80s to around 90 degrees at the coast. There's a less than 10% chance you'll see a passing shower or isolated thunderstorm.